We're less than just three days away from the big eclipse. Actually, two days, 21 <laughs> hours, two minutes and seconds, We're right? Counting. And if you've not bought your NASA approved glasses just yet, well, you may be out of luck, but we did find some alternatives. That's right. Brenda Lise Gonzalez live in Tampa tonight with the warning signs you should really watch out for in order to stay safe. Brenda Lise. I've called around and it's nearly impossible. I haven't found a place with any of these NASA certified glasses left, but as you mentioned, there are alternatives, things as simple as a cardboard box with a hole cut out that makes sure that it works because it could cause some alternatives could actually cause permanent damage. Here at Ace Welding Supply. No, sir, I showed on. I'm sold out. Jason Jeffcoat never imagined his most popular item would be for something other than welding. In the last, say, two weeks, we've gotten over 2,000 phone calls asking for welder lenses. Finding Eclipse glasses is now nearly impossible or just expensive. Take this Craigslist ad for a pair in Valrico selling for 100 bucks. No, sir, at the... The current situation I have is uh, shade five sunglasses. So now people are turning to welding lenses, but they aren't all safe. You need a shade of 12 to 14 to get a view of the sun like this without hurting your eyes, which in some cases means doubling up. The customer would apply the sunglasses, pick up the welding lens, cup it as such, and then view the eclipse through that way. But what really happens if you stare at the eclipse without any protection? It's kind of like getting a sunburn. Think sunburn on your eyes. Basically, your point of focus would disappear. Dr. William Steffen recommends building your own pinhole box. Or if you're really desperate, two paper plates with a small hole will do the trick. The downside is the extra light kind of lightens the image. Hey, what is supply? Jeff Coat is now out of most lenses, and he doesn't expect the calls to stop anytime soon. If we would have had any idea that this was coming along, you know, without the last minute, we could have really stocked up and, you know, helped our community out a lot more. So if you want an alternative where you can still stare directly at the sun, what we did is we paired up two welder's lenses to add up to a shade 14. We just cut out a box, a hole here on this cereal box and ta-da, I can look straight at the sun. Looks great. And this only cost me less than $10. Reporting live in Tampa, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, ABC Action News.